got a new battery from Power Queen. This one is a 50 amp hour 12 volt. Let's dig into it. Let's see what we got here. Okay, little information packet. What do we got? Lifetime service card. We'll check that out in a minute. And there's the battery. Let's pull it out. Super lightweight. <laughs> Being a 50 amp hour, very, very, very lightweight. What do we got here? Terminal screws. Lifetime service card. What does this mean? What is lifetime service? Okay, so you got a five year warranty. I guess uh, you put your receiving date here, your order ID here, and keep this card in case uh, something goes wrong with your battery. Uh, that's pretty handy. I don't know what they mean by lifetime, but uh, it says five year warranty. So if that makes any difference. Let's look through the manual here and see how well 12.8 volts, max continuous load power 640 watts. So max continuous charging current is 50 amps. Max continuous discharge current is 50 amps. Yeah, it looks good straightforward okay so the charge temperature is 0 C, uh, Celsius to 50 Celsius discharge is negative 20 to 60 I don't see anything about low temperature protection so I'm going to assume that it doesn't have that it shows connecting in series and parallel but I don't see where it specifies how many can Series or parallel? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this right here. Every time I do a video, look who shows up. <laughs> you can do four in series. Great. So you can do four in series. And uh, I guess four in parallel. Yeah, four in parallel. All right, excellent. That's all we need. All right, let's check the voltage on this guy. <laughs> Five... Point two six. I don't know, guys. Hopefully, that's just the BMS is disconnected. If that's really five point two five, that's bad. That would be one point three volts per cell. So let's hope that that's not actually what it is, and that it's the BMS uh, shut, has shut off. Because even after the BM, even when the BMS is shut off. You can still measure some voltage here. It's usually low voltage. So, let's see if we can't give it a little bump charge. So, I've got a little power supply over here set to 14.4. Uh, and then let's check the voltage of this battery again. 5.25. Uh, let's check the voltage of... The output of this power supply just to make sure my meter is actually reading properly and it is 14.36 so like I said hopefully the it's just uh, the BMS has shut down and we'll wake it back up by doing this all right let's check it here see where we're at oh there it is 13.8 13.18. Uh, so that's perfectly fine, guys. Um, that can happen in shipping. You know, the the BMSs will, can go to sleep or you have to wake them back up. So we're just going to assume that uh, everything is good and we're at 13.17 volts. That means that the cells aren't actually, you know, at 1.3 volts a piece. Uh, they're, they're in the safe range. So, anyways, I'm going to proceed charging this battery up. And then once it fully charges, we're going to do a capacity test. And I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. So, I got the Power Queen 50 amp hour 12 volt battery charged up. So, uh, I've got my shunt set up. And uh, let's go ahead and turn the inverter on. And uh, we have to find a load to hook up. All 
All right, so uh, we're doing slightly above 1C. wonder if I can find something that's less. Give me a minute. All right, so I uh, plugged in a heat gun, and we're doing uh, slightly less uh, than 1C. So we'll let this run, and I'll come back whenever it's complete or close to complete. All right, guys. So we are down to one percent and eleven point two volts, uh, five hundred and six. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, uh, forty nine point seven amp hours right now, six hundred and twenty five watt hours. So super close here. I'm pretty certain it is going to pull one hundred percent capacity. There we go. It has hit full capacity. Oh wow, and the inverter starts screaming right now. I'm gonna let it keep going a little bit. And it was right there, <laughs> right when it hit 50, 50 amp hours. And a little bit, all right. Wow, <laughs> not an amp hour to spare. Well, okay, it hit full capacity. It hit 50.42 um, amp hours, 632.53 watt hours. So uh, there you go, it pulled full capacity. All right guys, there you go. If you need a 12 volt, 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, this is a good option. And uh, I look forward to using this battery in some upcoming videos. Maybe we'll do some projects with it. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.